Hey guys, it's Grammar Techie here, and it's time for my first Tokusatsu focus video. And although I haven't covered all of the Big Freeze subreddits once just yet, I thought I'd try to go over all of the Big Freeze Tokus shows that I've seen, including the current er currently airing ones. So this video will be split up into three parts, being of course the Big Free, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and Ultraman. How this will go is I'll be talking about each show that appears on screen. And as there's a lot to go over, some shows may be on the screen at the same time as another one. Without much further ado, let's begin! Starting with Kamen Rider, the first toku I got into. So to start with is Kamen Rider Ghost and Kamen Rider X8. Though there's some weird circumstances surrounding these two for me. Ghost was the first toku show I saw live, at a time when it wasn't fully into the genre, so I'd never seen the series the whole way through, and I intend to go back to it someday. As for X8, this is the first Toku show I actually saw the whole way through, though it's been such a long time since I've seen it, I've kind of forgot most of what happened in the story, so like Ghost, I intend on eventually uh, going back and watching the show the whole way through. Oh, and X8 is actually where my original favourite uh, suit in Rider came from, being uh, X8's final form, Muteki Gamer. Now next up is Build, and this was one I absolutely love. Still to this day! At first, uh, when I was watching this show, I wasn't sure what its theme was, but I soon figured it out, and I really enjoyed the series. It has great characters and story, and some awesome suits, among my favourites being the main villain, Evo, and the secondary rider, Cross, well, and most of Cross's suits. On to Geo. Now, if I had to rank the Rider shows, this one be at the bottom, but it's by no means terrible. It has some great concepts for an anniversary season, with the Anana Riders being my favourite monsters in Rider, and Obergeo and Grandgeo being my two favourite suits in all of Rider, respectively, because of how gold they are and their powers over all Riders. Now for the beginning of Reiwa, with Zero One. We're at my favourite show in the franchise now, with my favourite, also my favourite suit aesthetics of a series in Rider. Mesmer and Rai are good villains, and Arato and Fua are really great characters, with the latter, Fua, being my, well, my favourite Rider in the whole franchise. Continuing on to the most recently finished show, Saber. Now, when I say the show is a mixed bag, it really is. On one hand, it continues Rewa's great suit aesthetics and has some great fights and character moments, but on the other hand, some of those moments are, in the story aren't exactly the best, what well, with there being so many riders. Now, on to the currently airing show, Revice. As the 50th anniversary show, I quite like the past rider references in Revice suits. And the double primary rider idea is a really interesting one. Also, I'm, I'm, su I'm super glad we finally have a Dino Rider base form for the primary rider, so to say, primary riders. Next up, Super Sentai. The first Sentai I saw was Q Ranger, and was also the first show, and also the show from which my first Toku toy came from. I may go over that someday. Anyways, it's not a bad show with some sort of ringer aesthetics I've loved for a long time. While the number of ranges is crazy, it kind of brings it down because not all of them get character development. Next up is two shows together, with something in common about them. Lupin has okay aesthetics, but there is some bias, but the show has some bias towards the Lupins, which led me to drop the show for about a year. Eventually though, I decided to finish it. Like with Geo, it's my lowest ranked show in the franchise, but it's no, by no means bad. Now, for, and for you, Soldier, I really do love this show, it's my second favourite Sentai, and has some great macro aesthetics. Though, I did drop this show for about a year because of an episode in the early 30s. I did come back to finish it a couple of months ago, so yeah. Oh, and while I'm on the, speaking of Lupin Re Soldier, I have seen Super Sentai Strongest Battle, but not much to say here, but the opening is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Now for another full show, Kiramasia. This one is my current favourite, with a good balance of 
good range of mecha suits, and the characters are absolutely great, especially with Takamichi being my current favourite sick ranger. Here we are, the current airing Sentai, Zenkaija. It's the 45th, 45th anniversary of the franchise, and it's really something else. And it's in the running for my new favourite Sentai in the franchise. While it has great range of mecha aesthetics, what really makes it great are the antics the characters get up to in each episode, in pretty much every episode. It's so much fun. And now on to the last of the big three, Ultraman. My first Ultra was G, and this show has gone quite through, the through quite, the change of rank in, quite the change of rankings for me. Originally, I despised this show. Though from my opinion on that, that opinion was largely influenced by someone else. After I binge rewatched it last year in the summer, it went all the way to the top of my rankings. With an with another from that year being a close second. After Jeed, I saw Orb. Having heard of this show around the time I found Ultra, uh, with Ultraman Jeed, I decided to watch this, watch this show at the start of 2018 while Orb the Chronicle was airing. And for a long time, I had a lot of bias to Orb, but it was my favourite show for a while. With what? With uh, the fusion gimmick. Uh, anything with fusion gimmicks, by the way, I will, I'll have great interest in that. And and since then, while it has fallen from my top spot, it is still in the top three for my Ultra series. Now, Rube! Because of the link between this, two, this show's two main Ultras, Russell and Blue, with Orb, I like this show pretty quickly, especially with their elemental based forms, which, again, like Fusion, is something I like in shows. And the final form was my original favourite form in the in all of Ultra. Okay, so Tiger. This one honestly doesn't have much going for it for me, but I like the idea of one host becoming three Ultras in concept. Like Zero and Lupat, it's my lowest ranked of the franchise. But it isn't awful. The main driving thing I like about this show is the main villain, Trigia. I really like how cunning and conniving he is. Oh, and the New Gen Climax, Tiger's movie, is a really great movie and arguably one of Tiger's redeeming features. Oh boy, Zed. This show is absolutely great. It blew me away with how, how great it was, with the fusion forms, the mecha, great story, and great characters, especially the main Ultra's host, Haruki. The moments of returning characters are good too, Especially the guy who returned in episodes 6 and 15. Oh, and Zed's final form? That's my current favourite Ultra suit in the entire franchise. Okay, last show and last Ultra show, we have Trigger. This show's had a rocky start. Oh, and of course this is the currently airing Ultra, by the way. This show's had a bit of a rocky start, had a bit of a rocky start, and it's gotten better. I'm going down at the half point with the final form just having debuted. It's not bad and I look forward to seeing what the second half has in store. I hope you guys enjoyed that and that now have a better idea of the Tokyo shows I've seen. Here are my socials. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, comment and see you next time where I'll be back with more Reddit videos.